Welcome to Serenity Productions. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Fuck shit. Fuck. <clears throat> Where is my meeting between my boss and that fucking dragon? I told you to get me a meeting between them. I told you to set it up. And now? I hear that there's a new problem in the North Pacific that is threatening everything we have built. Which means, without the stupid dragon on our side helping us out in Chicago, we're not going to have the manpower we need. So where is my meeting? When? Fuck, that's too far from now. Didn't you tell him who we were? <sighs> fucking dragons. Their egos are too big for their fucking own good sometimes. Damn asshole's gonna make this harder than it needs to be. Fine. I'll take it. But that dragon better realize that his doctor is now on my radar. And if he cancels or postpones or gives us any more problems, I end her and that fucking clinic in a goddamn blink of an eye. <sighs> Shit, Lorenzo. You have to get your ass thrown in fucking jail. I'm gonna kill that man. If he didn't have such good connections, I probably really would have. How am I gonna tell the boss? Fuck! Don't worry, boss. It's okay. Leave the rest to me. Yeah, what a fucking lie that turned out to be, Raylan. Shit. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's okay. Just breathe. Breathe. <whistles> Shit. <whistles> Raylan. Boss. What do I have the pleasure? Do you need me to book you another room at the club for another feeding? I know that you were very happy after the last one. Yeah, well, I think you should take me up on the offer more. You know, I could just get you another night again and... Fuck. What? Boss, everything is fine. Ish. Yeah, fine-ish. Listen, I'm handling everything and... I'm not lying, boss. I'm handling it. I'm not scared. Listen, even with what you are, I know you can't tell what the fuck my emotions are over the phone. And if I say I'm fine, well, you should believe me. Boss, I... You really don't have to. Shit! What have I said about appearing in my office? You knock on the door first, just like everyone else. I'm not scared. I'm concerned. Well, it's not my fault that the both of them feel the same to you. Maybe that's something you should investigate as a fear demon hybrid. Maybe ask your mom about that one. It's just a shifting in our world that's making me have to rearrange some things, okay? A little changing up of management, as it were. It's all right. 
I'm not. <sighs> Fine. You want the good news or the bad news then first? <laughs> bad news, the Nagas have decided to claim territory that wasn't up for grabs. Lorenzo's claim in New York grows weaker every second he's in jail. And there's a new player in the Pacific Northwest that's causing havoc right now. <laughs> good news is that I have a meeting with the dragon in Chicago. Took a little convincing, but I got it, and next month you'll be meeting with him. Would you like me to pour you a drink? Because I'm pouring myself one. I didn't want to worry you. I told you I could handle this, and I'm handling it. Your job is to take care of the big players across the pond. Mine is to take care of the people here. Don't. Don't do that. I'm not some little girl you need to take care of against the world. I'm your right hand. I should be able to handle a few loose ends here. I should not be letting you down like this. Doesn't matter if I'm only human. I promised you I could be your equal. And I've kept that promise for around 10 years now. And now everything is going to shit. And it's my fault for not keeping a closer eye on things. You shouldn't be consoling me. You should be lecturing me. Threatening me. You're the big bad underworld of the North Americas. You need to be iron-fisted when it comes to your subordinates not doing their jobs correctly. That would be me. I'm the subordinate in this scenario. Stop smiling, please. Be mad, be annoyed, be anything that does not fall under the amused category, please. I know you could fix all this in a month. I know you could have it all handled. But I wanted to be the one to handle this for you. You have so much on your plate already, and this was something I was sure I could take on. Apparently, though, other bosses, especially when they're not human, are harder to wrangle than I thought. I'm not admitting it. I'm not. <sighs> Fine. I bit off more than I can chew when it comes to dealing with supernaturals, okay? You happy? I know how to play humans. Hell, throw any you want at me and I can crack them in a second. Supernaturals, though. You all too goddamn prideful. I know. I know this is why when we first started that I would be the ones handling the human part of this world and you would keep a lid on the supernatural. Can you blame me though for wanting to be a little more ambitious? It's not cute and call me that one more time and I'm getting your mother on the line. It's not my fault you brought me over to family dinners one too many times. <laughs> Remember, I'm the second child. <laughs> F 
fine. Here. This is a list of all the contacts, as well as the information on the dragon. Have fun going through that sob story. This is also the file on that little doctor of his. It's a weak spot and something to have, should he try acting a little too big for his boots. This is everything we have on the new player. It's not a lot, but it's as much as I could grab from our contacts up there. And this is everything on that annoying Naga. Fucker can't stand having a territory that's not their own, apparently. What? I'm good at grabbing information, you know this. Apparently, though, I still need practice on putting it to good use. Yeah, good luck with those three. Also, don't forget... You... Also, don't forget that you had the fundraising gala that you're hosting in a couple of weeks. Your idea this time, not mine. I did tell you it was a bad idea and that you should just cut the fundraiser a check. But you wanted to seem like the Good Samaritan and hold a huge party for them. Oh, from a people ops perspective, it's great. But considering the fact that we're trying to put out multiple fires in the background, might have not been the best idea. It's happening now, and we're already set for it. Of course I took care of it. Setting up events like that is child's play for me. You need a date, by the way. Yes, a date. Preferably one that knows she'll only be your arm for the night, and that's it. I don't need another New Year's party incident. I'll have a list of potential candidates sent to you. You can pick out which one, and I'll set up the rest of the details. Like I said, this I can handle. What? No. <laughs> because that's highly inappropriate and I'm your personal assistant? Did we forget this? Yes, I know I'm also your best friend, but that part is supposed to be kept a secret, boss. Plus, by having a woman on your arm that's not a real connection to you, we're showing that you don't have any weaknesses when it comes to the love department. <sighs> it's a very kind offer, boss, but no. Now, get out the normal way, please. I have to work on transferring some things over to your office. Boss. I'm sorry. For letting you down. It won't happen again, I promise. Be my date. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> He wasn't serious, right? Right? <laughs>